Back is all ready to go. I've got the squab cover here. Next step is to pull the squab cover down. Now again, the trash bag liner here, this plastic will help with that. At least that's the, that's the idea. So I'm going to slide the squab cover down here. Uh, I'll show you the inside of this real quick just so you have an idea before I get going. So it's the, uh, you got the vinyl cover obviously and then inside is like a ribbed padding and padding out here. Got some extra padding. You can see that green extra padding outside here in the, in the horseshoe which is what I believe it's called. No padding at all in the back. It's just plain old um, just vinyl back here which is why I think it called for the, uh, the foam there. So we'll slide this down. Alright, and the instructions tell you when you get about halfway down, you want to make sure that you grab down here where the piping connects in on the, uh, on the arch there. That's a, a weak point sewing wise, I guess. So if you, if you try to just yank it all the way down here, you could tear it. So you pull and support that area there so that you don't blow that seam out. In other words, don't, you don't want to pull it from the wings here. Alright, so that's pulled down pretty much all the way. And then you want to try to line the seam up here on the edge of the chair, or edge of the seat back I should say. Now you can see all these wrinkles and everything back here, so I'll just kind of work them out with my hand, pushing it down the whole time. Alright, I think that's about as tight as I'm going to get it. Now there may be some wrinkles on the edges here, and that uh, tells you that they, you should be able to take them out. We'll work this piping a little bit, and they should come out when you, when you work that piping out. Another thing I'll say is these are definitely instructions that you want to read a couple times through before you just go barreling into this to try to get a feel for what you're going to have to work on. Now the front here doesn't get any adhesive yet, and that'll get tightened up when we get to that point. Alright, so once you're happy with where it sits, it tells you to clip it in. Now, you've got clips, I'll show you these. I bought new clips from uh, Roadster Factory, they're like 29 cents each or something, obviously not too expensive, so I bought several extras. And they're just little black clips little hooks in the inside there and just a flat spot on the outside so probably not your typical looking clip because of this extra flat but what I'm going to try to do is use my clam clips or my binder clips that I had before because I, uh, I'm pretty sure that if these clips don't get put in because of the little barbs that are on them they don't get put in in the right spot that you'll destroy that portion of the vinyl trying to trying to move it so I'm going to see if these binder clips work. They may not be strong enough. Alright, so now what it says is I'm going to want to glue on the ribbed portion of the vinyl backing and then spray some glue also on the horsehair stuff. Let it dry and then it tells you to repeat that. And then you don't do anything with it. It just, uh, I guess you're prepping it up to get ready because it's going to need a lot of glue there because that's what's going to hold the entire seat back on. You don't want to spray it. It tells you not to spray it on the horseshoe. So this section out here, which is going to be a little tricky, I guess. We'll see how it goes for me. Alright, so we'll let that dry a little bit. So the next thing here, we're going to trim the piping back. That's like a hard uh, plastic core in there. So we're going to undo this stitching and then cut the core back but leave the excess white 
So you just use a razor knife here. It says use a sharp knife to open the piping and a razor knife or a pair of scissors, excuse me, to cut the, the core. So it says to cut it back to a few millimeters short of where the seat meets the frame. Alright, so that just kind of opens up there. There's a little bit of adhesive, it looks like, but it's very weak. So it says a few millimeters short of where it hits the frame, which is actually quite a ways up here. Alright, well, unfortunately, I just ripped that off you could probably see that but I think I'm gonna be okay and I don't think so I'm a little not skeptical but I'll show you here I believe that the piping is supposed to essentially go all the way to here so that's hard piping that's in there now but if I try to get that out I'm going to destroy this entire flap here, and I don't really think I should do that. I'm not sure. So uh, I think I'm going to actually go ahead now and actually put in a real clip here just to kind of keep this squared up. But this could be a, a, a potential issue maybe, but we'll see. All right, we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then I'll go ahead and put more glue in. Alright, so i got clips on either side of that. And then just regular clips over here. I'm a little concerned about how this seems to be off-center. If you can tell, this little flap here extends all the way down. This one on this side doesn't get anywhere near. So I think I'm going to have some bare metal showing there. I tried to adjust the, the, the seat back on how it went and everything. And it, and it seems to... Be centered up just fine so I'm not too sure what if anything I can do about that so we'll put another uh, thing of glue inside here so the next part here is this little flap now this is a little confusing and I'm not quite sure again because my seat back is not getting on there perfectly straight or at least uh, it appears to be this flap needs to go down like this and sit on top of the horsehair so the, where all of my extra padding and batting and all that that is, that's going to get cut out and you can kind of see how this one flips underneath here but this is not a real clean um, flap it's a it's a complicated joint between all sorts of stuff up here you can see where my things starting to pull a little bit that's making me nervous um, and then this one over here kind of the same way so I'm going to try to manhandle these a little bit and get these flaps to sit here cut out this extra padding and everything and then it just gets glued down so we'll see how that goes there and then it just goes on top of the horse here and just gets pressed down like that I guess I'll lay some glue out on there real quick and then cut the other side and then come back It says once you bend it over, tape, staple it to the tack strip that I got back there. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm only going to be able to do this on one side. The strap doesn't come down far enough on the other side. I might be able to play with it here, but go ahead and get this one stapled in. All right, well, that one's just not going to work. So, not cool, but we'll see. 
as we move on. So now it says lay the seat on its back. It's now time to push the two glued surfaces together. Starting at the top, push the center fluted area down onto the padding. Ensure the flutes are vertical and there are no creases in the horseshoe surround. The cover should be tight enough to avoid any creasing. Push down firmly over the whole fluted area. All right, I'm skeptical about this. All right, well, but it did. Now it says tuck the side edges at the bottom of the horseshoe to make a smooth finish. Now this one over here has got problems, but here I'll show you. I'm going to tuck these flaps in down here. Just says to make a neat appearance, which is just not going to happen for me. All right, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like. That's all I got. So I'm going to staple it down here once. All right, before I go too far, I'll come over to this side. This is the one that's a hot mess. see that that's definitely crooked. This side definitely needed to come down more. Question is, can I live with that or do I take it all back apart? Pretty cool though, that kind of worked. Again, over here, it pulls pretty tightly. I'm not real quite sure what I can do about that. In the pictures here, it looks like the uh, Looks like the cover was a lot further down, just generally. So maybe for the next one, I'll have to concentrate on that. So just like the other side, I'm gonna cut these core pieces out again so I can continue to staple across, and uh, it'll do just do it the same exact way. So now I'm gonna trim off some excess here and put clips on here as well. ain't great especially down at the bottom here being uneven not enough pull down from this side I lost some fabric down in there but I don't think that's going to matter all that much I'm hoping we'll see so definitely a rookie job but that's essentially about it for the squab so the mistakes here this is a mess and uh, in this I don't like how that kind of comes together but I'm not sure that I have any choice with that but, uh, but this one is under quite a bit of pressure here. And that's just going to continue to open up and not look all that great, unfortunately. I may have uh, taken it all back apart and put it all back together again there real quick, but I did get it to straighten up. This corner is a little bit better. I still don't like the way that that looks, but I think that is the way that it looks. As a matter of fact, looking at the picture and the instructions, it frankly looks just as sloppy down there as this one does. So um, maybe, that's, maybe that's just the way it is. But as far as wrinkles go and everything like that, a little bit in here, but not too bad. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then on the back, pretty much uh, no wrinkles at all. You can kind of see the X a little bit. And then the rivets kind of stick through a little bit, but, but not, uh, not horribly, that's for sure. One thing I do want to do and not, don't want to forget to do is poke holes in the vinyl for the uh, the seat clip because once that goes once the bottom starts going in it all kind of becomes one piece and I think it'll be a lot easier to, to look at doing that right now so I'm just going to go and take a take a punch and, and sharp punch and put it through those holes just so if nothing else just to mark them